there again. We enjoyed some comfortable conditions out there today. Not a lot of sunshine to be had, but we'll make up for that by tomorrow as plenty of widespread sun is on the way here for us in southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa. So some spots still have a little bit more clearing with that cloud cover to go tonight. So we'll continue on with those clearing skies. A fabulous weekend is in store. Temperatures giving us a little taste of summer as they climb into the lower 80s. However, keeping an eye on additional rain chances for the area between Saturday and Tuesday. Some straight isolated rain opportunities headed our way. A couple thunderstorms may be possible during that time period as well. It's a quiet night as we check in with your Lewis Donato live camera. Here's from Signal Hill. You can see plenty of quiet conditions for the area. Still clear skies here for the most of us uh, off towards the east, though, looking at a little bit of cloud cover still lingering. Temperature wise, comfortable. 57 in Austin and Rochester, 59 in Winona, 56 in Mason City. Our winds rather light here tonight. Calm for many spots towards about three to eight miles per hour for us in Rochester. As I mentioned, those clearing skies continue here for the rest of this evening, expecting to see our bright, quiet conditions here continuing into the overnight hours and a lot of sunshine at play as we look ahead to tomorrow. The frontal boundary that brought those rain chances last night now well off towards our east. We are looking at high pressure kind of dominating the upper Midwest and that'll give us a quiet weather as we roll into Friday. Then we're keeping an eye on another frontal boundary that'll bring some rain chances to the area that could possibly bring some rain chances late Saturday. That could spark a couple straight showers and thunderstorms, maybe a couple more straight showers possible into Sunday. But I do think the better opportunity for rain chances locally in southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa would be on Monday and on Tuesday. At this point in time, keeping it isolated for now, but we'll continue to keep an eye on those potential rain chances through the weekend and into early next week. So that would be our best opportunity for any precipitation here in the area. Time to things out for the rest of tonight. Clear skies continuing here, especially after midnight. So we'll wake up tomorrow morning with some beautiful sunshine temperatures kicking off the day into those low 50s. Notice how our winds now will be coming out of the south for tomorrow. That will really help usher in some nice warm air to the area, allowing those temperatures to climb into those low set low 80s by the afternoon time frame. Heading into Friday evening, future track trying to hint at a couple showers to our north, but I think most of that activity stays out of our area and we stay dry as we roll into Saturday morning. Again, continuing with those southerly winds to help usher in more warmth. We'll start off mild in the 60s, climbing to those low 80s as we head towards Saturday afternoon. Then we'll see a frontal boundary pass through during the late afternoon, early evening, and that could spark a couple stray showers and thunderstorms. I think most of that will stay just to our east. However, a couple counties may be clipped as that frontal boundary moves through the area. So we are looking to see that could warmth on the way, not only for Friday and Saturday, uh, but we'll also look to continue on with above average temperatures into Sunday and Monday. A little bit more seasonal as we roll towards the middle of next week uh, with mid to upper 60s on the way. Heading into tonight, quiet, comfortable conditions, low 50s here for the evening hours as those skies continue to clear. Tomorrow, beautiful sunshine, little taste of summer here for this May afternoon. We'll look to see low 80s for tomorrow's high temperatures. Here's that 10 day forecast at 10. We continue to keep an eye on our shower and thunderstorm chances here between Saturday and Tuesday, but overall temperatures will continue to stay pretty seasonal through the tail end of next week, Caitlin. And a lot of rain chances. We'll be anxious to see how those pan out. Pan yeah. out, exactly. Sarah, thank you. Are you